So like every time the elevator opened, we were like, who is that? You know? <laughs> and that elevator, I, I remember like it, like it was a movie, like the elevator opened and it was Cristiano with his like, uh, like Christian color or whatever. And he's like huge guy and like just comes and sit next to us and start talking to us. And we were like, what is this? All right, ladies and gentlemen, today on the inside, we've got Jose Aguinaga. Did I say it right? Yeah, perfect. All right, bro, how are you doing, man? I'm good, man. Nice to see you. Nice to reconnect with you. Uh, you know, it's been it's been a while. I'll talk to you. I know, right? Like um, I know, right? Um, what was I gonna say? Just for the people that don't know you, um, just give us a brief introduction on yourself. Well, um, I'm just I'm Jose Aguinaga. Uh, I play for the Phoenix Rising. Uh, I got, I guess I could say I got drafted uh, in the 2000 New York Bulls, and then after playing a year with them, I've been I joined the Phoenix Rising and second year here. Nice man. Um, so how you been keeping up like with quarantine? Like before, obviously the season came back. Like how are you staying motivated and stuff? Because at the time you didn't know whether the season was going to be back. Yeah, yeah, that was rough. That was a rough time. Uh, it was just like we would team have a lot of Zoom calls uh, for like a month that we last in quarantine. There was like a couple of weeks where we would, like didn't know what if it was gonna go back to that. And during those time, it was like hard, just like staying at home and trying to like work on myself, trying to have like a routine, you know, because I think. We realize that's something that is important that we always have a routine. We always talk what to do. And then once we have nothing to do, it's like you go crazy if you don't have like a routine. Yeah, no, it's true. Um, so how were you staying motivated? Like how were you like making sure that you like kept up to shape just in case anything came back? Yeah, I mean, I think I was pretty good about it. I tried to like learn a little bit about like nutrition, like how to like work out. I was staying uh with a friend, uh, Adam John, that plays for the MLS, um, he plays for the London United. So him and I, we train, we train together, and it was it was a good time, you know. Yeah, for sure. Well, um, take us back to where it all started. So uh, you said you're from Spain. So like, how did you get into football? Like, who brought you in? Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. like same same way you did probably right when playing in, like growing up back in Europe, everybody. Football is the or soccer, as they call it here, is the the main sport, right? And since I was a kid, since I like have memory, I remember being next to a ball or play ball in the street with my friends. And I mean, since since I have a memory, and then I joined uh, the club in my academy and my neighborhood. And since then, it all when it all that's when I started. Yeah. What 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 club was that that you joined? I played for Rayo Vallecano. It's yeah. uh, I think. They're now in the second division, but they've always been back and forth between the top and between La Liga and the second division. They're in, La, in second division now. But yeah, it's a team of my neighborhood. So I grew up, I joined them when I was like eight years old and I played like till I was like 14. So like, yeah. Bro, that's mad. Like everyone I talked to like started football when they were like eight or seven. Then I only got into academy like when I was like 12, man. Really? 12, like 13. That's when I like, so yeah, I, like properly. I guess like I'm a late one within yeah. like football now, isn't it? Yeah. I mean I do remember getting in my school they had like a futsal, you know, five v five. Yeah. And honestly, like I got pictures, I don't even I, I think like I couldn't even barely walk. And I was already like doing like playing with ball. It was kind of like crazy. And uh after that I went to that right away kind of academy. And I mean previously to the one I was just following my brother's steps. Yeah, and I tried to join the academy they were in. Uh, it was like a small team in uh, in Madrid. They didn't have even have a senior team. And then after two months playing there, I was playing with the older guys. So I was eight, eight years old, yeah. I think, or something like that. And then I was playing with the twelve year old uh, kids. And they were like, "You can join because obviously the, the, the year difference." Yeah. And they made me play one year or a couple games. Like it was like three or four games. I I played with like a fake, uh, like a fake. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how they call it. <laughs> yeah, they made me play because like they were like, oh, these kids can play, but they were like, you can play. So like for three games, they told me, okay, your name is gonna be Alfonso or whatever, and you're gonna have to learn <laughs> you play. And I did it for three games, and I guess then then they realized like they could actually get in trouble. So they were like, after three months, I remember I was devastated. I was like so young, but I remember like they they being like, 
we, like we lied to you, but like you have to wait two years because the youngest academy team we have is like ten, and you're eight. Mm-hmm. So then right after that they were like, but I think like we want you to recommend for this one, which was try by kind of a much better academy. And I went there, and because it was already late, they were like, uh, no, like uh, we like you, but it's already too late. We already like, closed the team, come back next year. So I thought like, uh, this is, you know, like I'm just gonna play for my, you know, my neighborhood, my team. And mm-hmm. then a the year later, they actually called me back. And I went, I tried out for the team and I made it, so. Damn, how, so you said you were there from the age of eight to 14? Yeah, so since I guess it was nine or ten, I don't really remember what age it was because I now that I think like I was eight when I joined, tried so it's to probably like under nine, isn't it? so it was like, yeah, probably under nine, like nine, it, it was like five or six years, and then so yeah, I guess that makes sense, nine to like 14, 15. That's so, when I then, yeah, so what did, you then do? I, what did you do after then, after 14? Yeah, so when I was 14 years old, when I was 15 years old, I joined the Real Madrid Academy. Damn. That was, uh, yeah, the, uh, so I played for Rayo Baikano, which, in my opinion, is still like top three or four academies in Madrid. This is Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, then Rayo Baikano, Getafe, and Leganés, which are the five biggest teams. Back then, I guess Getafe and Leganés weren't there, so Rayo was the third one, actually, the yeah. third best, best academy. And I had, just like, I played through the years through the academy, and then that 14, like, under 14s or under 15s. I guess I had a great year. We competed against Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. And they just called me. They saw me I playing against them. And they were like, you want to join us? And I was like, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, why not? Because who wouldn't, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, that was a crazy year. I remember being like very young, 15 years old. And they told me like, come to Madrid. And it was like already like starting like all the scouts or agents, all these things. It was like way too young. I remember my, luckily my father always gave me like good advice because at that age, you know, like I remember they off like uh, Rayo, they offered me a contract and it was like, they pay, like pay me already. And it's like, I'm 14, 15 years old. Like what am I going to do with this? You know? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Like I know a lot of kids that do and like, if you don't really like think about it, like you're 15 years old and they pay you already and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. True. So like how, how did like, oh, that's mad, isn't it? So like, that's weird. Yeah. No, it so, is. I mean, I so, don't like, so how how did you, like, how was things when obviously you're in still in Madrid, so which was good. Um, yeah. So how was your transition from Real Valcano to uh, Real Madrid? I mean, it was pretty like smooth, I think, because obviously, I mean, I had to drive farther, but like 15 minutes, like yeah. that's the farthest. <laughs> Madrid is like driving is like you can get in everywhere. But it was, I was playing against Rayo Vallecano, so I knew like, and then I, I was playing against these Real Madrid teams, so I kind of knew all the guys there, not yeah. personally, but like from playing against them. And it was pretty like awesome. The first year we got to travel, we went to like a lot of countries, like play, you know, these big tournaments and playing for Real Madrid. It was amazing. The level of the academy is great. I think I, that year was the training, we would train almost every day and the facilities it was it was unbelievable like I those two the, I spent two years there and those two years I I got to play with Marco Llorente who's now playing in Atletico Madrid first team yeah. Enzo Zidane Mario Hermoso like a lot of great players that are like playing now yeah and you you said you were there for two two years did you get to like because you're training every day did you get to see like the first team and stuff yeah, yeah, I actually, so I think it was either the year before or somewhere when I got there, Cristiano got signed. Oh. And I remember that that was the ones that I met because we, the facilities we shared, we didn't share with the first team, but the only thing we shared with the first team, I don't know how, they probably changed everything now, but it was, there was this recovery place where all the academy kids that got injured would go there. And it was like a like a spa kind of thing where they have pools and you could go and run a, like against the current. You could go like do like cold water and hot water and you have a sauna, you have all these recovery things. Yeah. And it was for the first team, but like the academy kids that were injured, they could go there if, if that was gonna help them recovery. Like if you had an ACL, you could go and run in the pool because that's great, I think for yeah. ACL recovery. Uh, so I did and I like, um, I turned my ankle. It was like a pretty bad one. So for the recovery, I got to go there a couple of times. And one of those times, I remember sharing like the cold top with uh, Cristiano 
uh, Banistro was there, Diarra was there. It was actually unbelievable. Because yeah, Cristiano was actually in the Colta with I was like three of my teammates. And yeah. like and we were like, yeah, like 15, 16 year old, and we were there. And then I remember we accessed the spot for one side, and there was an elevator where the first thing guys would come down. Yeah. So like every time the elevator opened, we were like, Who is that? You know? <laughs> and that elevator, I, I remember like it's like it was a movie, like the elevator opened and it was Cristiano with his like uh like christian color or whatever and he's like huge guy and like he just comes and sit next to us and start talking to us and we were like what is this Damn, <laughs> yeah that was... must have been such a crazy experience <laughs> yeah yeah it was unbelievable i remember like we were there probably for like 10 minutes you know yeah. and then after it was like shower and then go go home and tell my family and my brothers and my parents you won't believe what happened today <laughs> it was pretty amazing Damn. So at that time, what it was obviously Cristiano got signed. Venestori was still there. Who was yeah. who also still there? Oof. Uh, the Ara was there. Oh yeah. Rose. I remember. I want to say that's the moment where they signed Marcelo. So yeah. so like probably twelve years ago or something like that. That was like the like oh, building yeah. stage, isn't it? Right before yeah. they started winning everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually so the own that's. You remember the time the semifinal when uh, Pepe hit uh, Dani Alves yeah. and he got a red card? That's uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, but that big no. semifinal where Mourinho and Guardiola were getting at each other. Yeah, I remember. I remember. That's uh, that's the that's the year because I remember we, I went to the Bernabeu in that that semifinal. I was there when Messi drive, dribbled by every, like everybody in the Oh, uh, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Was it five 0 No, no, no. That one was two zero. That one was 2-0. The oh, oh, that was, was the burnabout. Okay. Yeah. But that's mad. So how how was like um obviously the standard was was very high, but how did you find that standard as like a a young kid, if you know what I mean? Because obviously hindsight yeah. now, you look back and you're like, okay, cool, like it was massive. But during that time, like how was the standard for you? Did you feel comfortable, or was it like a bit difficult for you? Yeah, I mean, it was obviously, like, a bit difficult, like, the first year, um, it's just, like, a lot of competent, com- uh, competence, uh, you say comp- competence? Uh, a lot of, like, competition, isn't it? competition sorry, yeah, yeah, a, lot of competition. a lot of, a lot of competition, I remember the first year, like, you're with your team, and since you're, like, yeah, you're a kid, you're 15 years old, and they, they straight tell you, like, this is all about, like, getting to the pros, and, you know, it's, like, a, yeah, it's very competitive, and I, the first year was good. The second year didn't play that much, but it's like crazy. They we had kids from everywhere in Spain, and even there was a kid from uh, South Korea too. Like that level where they bring, mm-hmm. yeah, they, 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 we had kids from everywhere in Spain. So anyone, anybody that was good in Spain, they would just bring in, and they had the academy. You know, like the, kind of like La Masia, but yeah. for Real Madrid, and there were kids that were from you know Barcelona, Asturias, Galicia, with different parts from Spain. And then us that were from Madrid and a lot of competition, but that's the only way you, you know, can improve. That's true, man. So obviously you were only at Real Madrid for two years. Then you went to Getafe. How was yeah. that transition? Because like you were 16 to 18. Did you, did you guys finish? Do you guys finish like, um, like secondary school, high school at 16? We finished, yeah, oh, 16, 18. and then this, yeah, we finished like 16, and then we got two years, 16 to 18, that is like optional, you don't have to do it, not everybody does it. Okay, so what did you do during that time? So, I did, I like, my parents always were like, you have to study, so I did uh, all the way, I, uh, and then, yeah, so I finished high school, and then the last three years, I I played for Getafe, until I under 19, that's when I left. And then under under 19, I actually got in the in a degree in uh, architecture. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was that's when like, I realized it was like super super hard because I I in the last year under 19, the team was like okay I want we want you to be with the second team like they were professionals already, but it was the second team like kind of like Castilla but of Getafe. Yeah, yeah. And so I did the preseason with them. I actually got to make my debut in the second team. But then I got injured and then the coach, like, I didn't play much with them. So I was, like, back with my team. And it was a lot of sacrifice. I, I dropped out, like, my college because I couldn't do it because I, yeah. you know, it's too, too much. And then that's when I realized. And I heard about the United States and I was like, 
All right, I'm gonna do that. And then I went to Ryder, had an amazing experience for four days. I was with the teammates, like we went out, it was unbelievable. I went to New York, everything was perfect. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to ride it. And then yeah. I, I, I went back home, I went back home and, and the Ayuna coach calls me, he's like, yo, great news, I got you 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, no way. Yeah.